Hey guys, let's learn how to paint Perry the platypus. You can start with a white base coat, but since Perry has mostly that teal color, you really could just add that as your base. I started with a white base, and I'm using White Zilla by Liz Renee. Using Shadow Effect by Liz Renee, I went ahead and started with his hat. Create a curve that will go across his face and two peaks, one smaller than the other one. Using the lines from the side of his hat and the top of his hat as a guide. Create a line straight to the bottom of the nail. A circle for his eye. A line to connect his eye to his beak. Use that line to extend his beak. And curve a longer one to connect the beak. Make the bottom of his beak and come up to meet his eye. Give him a mean look and finish the other eye. Connect his beak to his eye. Two lines for his arm on one side. Let's extend him a little bit and give him a fist. This little guy means business. And this little fist is a statement. Finish the rest of his arm all the way down. Don't forget this line to separate him from his hat. Add a stripe for the little belt around his hat. I think it's a belt. Pick your best and most favorite teal color. And let's start filling him in. I'm using Jawbreaker by Liz Renee from the Artopia collection. Fill in his entire body. The best thing about sketching is it helps you and it gives a great guideline to stay within the lines and color everything in. Now don't worry too much if you go outside the lines because you will have a background and then you outline. So you won't be able to see any of those mistakes. After you fill everything in, don't forget his other arm and a little spot right beneath his eye. For his beak, I filled it in with a mixture of Banana Fever and Squeeze Me by Liz Renee from the Artopia collection. Don't be afraid to mix colors and get the perfect beak color. Find a lighter brown and fill in the top of his hat, the bottom right side of his hat, and the left side of his hat. For the belt in the middle of his hat, you want to go in with a darker brown. Fill in Perry's eyes with your hat color. And now go ahead and pick your favorite liner and outline Perry. I went in with Liz Renee's Grim Black. Do your best in sticking with the outline that you created right before you filled in Perry's colors. Staying consistent with that outline helps you and is a perfect guideline to outlining your characters. Remember, fill in your background before outlining. Remember to outline Perry's eyes and the belt of his hat. I went in with Liz Renee's sunny yellow liner for his beak outline. And I created a double outline by using a white outline on the outer perimeters of Perry. I'm using White Bliss by Liz Renee. Now you could stop at the black outline. You do not have to double outline your characters. But I felt like it gave him a little oomph and made Perry pop more on the nail. If you do this, keep in mind that this white outline is only for the outer perimeters of Perry. Remember to add two little white dots for his eyes and top coat. I'm going in with Renee's Gloss by Liz Renee. And there you have it. You painted Perry the Platypus. Like, share, and subscribe.